couch Dogs need the lessons Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff in which we're going to continue the 12 string series. So um, in this 12 string guitar lesson we're going to tackle the normal open tunings. Okay, like D major and uh, maybe we're going to play open G as well uh, because they're kind of the same thing uh, fret wise when you play them. Um, Okay, so tune your guitar to D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Okay, this is open D tuning. And as in, um, as in standard uh, open tuning uh, playing, you can solo with uh, frets 2 and 4 for a major sound or 3 and 0 for a blues or a minor sound. You can play three and two in some cases. So just start exploring. Now on a 12 string, you're focusing on string six to three, okay, because of the octave sound. So uh, my method, as you should well know by now, is playing the open first and second strings in between bass lines. So I'm gonna keep hitting the bass note, okay, the, the low D, the sixth string, I'm gonna hit it every now and then just to create, uh, you know, to, to give it that bass drone, that bass carpet. But I'm just gonna explore, okay? Let's start by two and four. Now, okay, now as you can see, it, things are a little bit different on the third string. Um, it wouldn't be different on the dad gad tuning, the D sus4 tuning, but on a, an open D major tuning on the third string, okay, you have a, kind of a chromaticism on 0, 1, 2, and 3. So um, instead of 2 and 4, you have 1 and 3. Okay, 0, 1, 3. Okay, all the rest, it's 0, 2, and 4. Okay, on the third. It's 0, 1, 3. Okay, all the rest, 0, 2, and 4. So just start by enjoying yourself. Okay, we're gonna use a slide later on. I have a slide ready at my disposal. Okay, I just want you to have fun. And nothing happens if you play a wrong note by mistake. There's no such thing as wrong in music. Okay, it's just strings, uh, it's just uh, open strings with frets two and four. You just hammer on, pull off, slide in between them and play open strings in between. I'm not doing anything complicated. This is just the 12 string sound. The 12 string sound is all over the place and this is exactly the point, okay? So I'm just playing. Now I know that the third string is not in perfect tune, but I like it this way. I like, I like it when it's a little bit out of tune because it gives it a little bit of flavor. If, uh, if you don't like it, I can tune it. bar five or bar seven for the for for the fourth and the fifth chords of the scale as long as you keep focusing on strings three to six okay as your main notes you're gonna do fine okay you can hit those harmonics Now, 
those are frets two and four. You can play frets three and two for a minor scale. Okay, but okay, we we already covered it. This sound, the minor sound on the open D minor uh, open tuning. And I don't want to repeat the sound, I want you to try new sounds. So once you explore this, um, the D major sound, take a slide and start playing between frets 3, 5, and 7. Now, um, the 12 string guitar isn't built for a slide. But who cares? We're exploring here. We're having fun. Uh, if you don't like the sound, uh, you, you don't have to play a slide. I'm just giving you ideas. So um, just just play around the same. It's just about detuning. Okay, then. Okay, you don't really. You're not gonna actually play slide here. So it's just about detuning it a little, taking the slide down and back up. Getting that double sound, that octave sound. Yeah, and then you can. And then you can solo again. And then go to 12 and use both the steel sound and the and the harmonics and just detune them a little bit just okay you don't you, you don't really uh, have to play slide here it's just for sound purposes I just want you to explore so Before I uh, finish this lesson, uh, I just want you to remember that w when you bar on frets 5 and 7, you can use the same idea. You can use the two frets above it. Okay? And one fret above it on the third string. One and three, remember? It's the same thing because it's a major chord. And you can use the second fret on strings 4, 5, and 6. But, as I mentioned before, um, in the open D minor lesson, um, all the other open tunings, the, the major open tunings, are very confining. They're very confining because, um, because they're just one sound. They're just one sound, either major or a blues. So uh, I prefer um, open D minor tuning to any other tuning, but... I have an obligation as a teacher to to show you the options. So thank you for watching this and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.